Hi everybody, so water motors are one of those examples in technology that look like a forgotten technology, but far from it. Water motors are built in industry today with abilities in the sort of 8 to 15 kilowatt range of generation. It's not that they've forgotten, it's more that we're not really aware, because you find them in all kinds of places that are relatively surprising, like fire alarms for instance, and they're still being made. Their history goes back to the late 1800s and the Pelton wheel because most of them were in fact Pelton wheels in our housing and they found a huge range of applications from things like sewing machines right the way through to both domestic and industrial fans and even weird things like food mixers and washing machines and potato peelers right the way through to home generation units and even mechanical Meccano produced a range of water motors for the Meccano sets. All based on the Pelton wheel. Now the turbo turbine we've talked about before and that is kind of a development of the Pelton wheel and it's very efficient. So an idea of running a turbo turbine as a water motor I would think would be tremendously interesting. So I turned to Tinkercad and drew this up. Now you've got to remember this is a work in progress but I will put this on Thingiverse should anybody actually want to join in and use these parts. So the heart of this device is pretty straightforward. It's really these five bits. Of course, we've got the turbine, which is right there, and it goes into the housing, which is made out of this bit, the turbine slotting in there, and then the housing top, and there's a foot there as a drain that lines up with those three holes there. So all we've got to do really is put some bearings in here, a piece of 8mm rod down there and glue it to the foot and that's all we really need to do. Now these are uh, 608 bearings, so they're uh, 7mm deep, 8mm centre, 22mm wide and they take an 8mm piece of bar. So I'm going to stuff some bearings in there. There we go, one, two, and two in here and glue the foot on and put that in. Okay, like that. Now you might notice there's an 8mm washer there. And that's a standard thing for me to put an 8mm washer in because when we press something together, that will press against the inner edge of that bearing there and it won't lock against this here and allow it to spin freely because all we do now is making sure this is pointing upwards, put that on there. And in there you'll see three little holes, two millimetres across, pointing at 30 degrees into that section there. So the water gets fed in here, squeezes out through there and jets over in that direction on the turgo. So let's put that on. Now we add that bit onto there because that's the bit that takes the hose attachment and this is free to turn. Here we go. One thing I forgot to point out was the draft excluder. You'll see around here there's a white draft excluder. You can get it white or brown. And it's this D-shaped draft excluder. You just pull off the backing and stick it down all the way around and it'll form a water seal so we don't get too much water uh, coming out. It's incredibly cheap and it's well worth doing. So we just put a bit of that draft excluder. Then we put the cover on. And then when I've got here, and these are in the file actually, a little seat clamps, so they just go over there tighten down to hold the cover in place and there's four of them. Okay and that's it together. Now all we've got to do is test it and that means putting a hose on there. Now any water wheel is going to work if you point some water at it so we point the hose without the top on of course it's going to spin but this is the difference it makes when we change that to pressure. If I put my finger over it and create a bit of pressure the volume of water has changed the pressure has gone up and look how crazily it spins and that is the benefit of a thing like a Pelton wheel or in this case a turbo turbine. Now the turbine operates best apparently when that water jet is somewhere between 25 and 30 degrees. So these are the holes in the lid and they're set at 30 degrees. Mm -mm. They seem a bit weedy to me so this is the first effort. We'll put it together and see what happens and if we put the wheel on we can see it does spin it although perhaps not as well as the other one did. Oh. OK, 
Okay, so for me, that was a learning experience. That bit, I thought, worked really well, actually. The water didn't clog up, it drained out nicely, because I was worried that this would be too big. We get splashed back and we get clogging and all sorts of things. But that worked, bit, I think, worked really nicely, although maybe we do want to shrink that down a bit. I still thought that worked nicely. This bit, I'm a little bit more um and ah about. And I put in three holes there that are two millimeters diameter, and I don't think the water came out with a lot of force, particularly when you compared it to just putting my thumb on the end of the pipe. So I'm thinking that these holes aren't a good idea. What we could look at is maybe a slot and take it down to one millimeter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to pursue this a little bit more because I certainly think it's interesting, but perhaps not as interesting as the fact that you can just buy these if you want. Anyway, thanks again.